So we're pretty familiar with this fan right here. This is the A12X25. We've used it for quite a quite a few things, the fan shutdown being the, the main thing. And ever since this fan came out, a lot of people have always wanted a 140 version of this thing. And it's it's always been on the roadmap from Noctua. It just It just never kind of came out. Until now, we it did, did show up and I almost missed this thing. Uh, it just recently launched not too long ago and I didn't even know until I happened to just see it and I decided to buy two because I wanted to see how things worked. Now on paper, the A14X25, as it's called, is marginally better than the legacy A14, beating it out in things like static pressure and airflow while also being slightly louder, actually, and drawing more power according to, you know, Noctua's uh, numbers that they publish on their website. Now we all know that the A12X25 is good. Everybody kind of just knows that this fan is, if you're looking for just a good fan, regardless of if you'd like the brown color or not, the A12X25 is, is gonna do it for you. They do have a black one now as well. Uh, but for a long time, they just had the normal knock to a color scheme. And even though people didn't like it, they used it because the fan itself is good. Uh, this one on paper, it just seemed to be just as good. But what I wanna know, and the reason I have two, is can it be modded? So let's break it. Now, the reason I got two of these things is because I'm not exactly sure how, how this is gonna work. Now on the A12X25, the OG, you can see that the, there's a metal hub underneath this fan disc. And with the new one, it's at least on the picture, it's not clear if that metal hub is the same. And also just look at how much smaller the disc or the hub is than uh, the original. So I'm not sure if there's actually a metal hub like there is on the A12X25 or if it's just like that little ring that most other manufacturers use. This metal hub was a little different at the time. So if this doesn't work as a, the original, there is a second way that we can make this work that they've done for other ones, but I'm hoping that there's a metal hub underneath there and we're gonna find out soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do what I do with the normal one and see how it works. Step one is to break off every single one of these blades. This is actually a pretty simple process because of the material that Noctua uses. These things just, they snap off so easily, which is good because they're pretty rigid, but also good and they're easy to remove. All right, for the second step of this process, uh, what I normally do on this bad boy is after I break the blades off, I use one of my soldering irons with kind of like a flat tip and kind of just melt through this and this simply just breaks away. So while I was waiting for my soldering iron to heat up, I was just looking through the spec sheet and it's not looking too good. On the A12X25 spec sheet, they have a, something called out that's a metal reinforced motor hub, which is obviously the thing you can see on the A12X25, but on the A14X25, they don't have that same specification. Instead, they have something just called a metal bearing shell. So I don't know what that means, but it kind of sounds like there's not that metal hub underneath everything, which is kind of key to making this work, but Soldering iron's heated up, and I didn't find the flat tip. It looks like I changed it, so we're just gonna use this guy. And let's just burn through and see if we hit metal. We did not, wow. So although this is inspired by the A12X25, it is, it is different. At least it seems like it is so far, unless uh, we gotta get a little farther in. Oh, well, there's metal. I think we just got the standard ring that we see on a lot of just normal PC fans. And if you're curious to what the temperature is of this thing, I just cranked up this soldering iron to its max, which on this one is 850. Okay, let's see if we can break that little corner off and see what we are working with. Doesn't seem promising, let me tell you that. Yeah, that's a real bummer. So essentially we just have a ring and I'm assuming that the plastic hub is what attaches the, the hub to the bearing, which is quite different than the A12X25, but you know, I'm willing to bet you if I just connect all these holes, this little plastic hub comes right off with that ring. Because this is basically how every generic PC fan is set up. Yeah. What a bummer. So although this is shares in name the same idea as the A12X25, it's built quite different. Let me see if I can find one that doesn't have the fan hub on it and I'll show what I'm talking about. So this is one of the fans that I have already cut out, ready to be used in like the fan showdown for fan mods. And as you can see in the center there is that metal reinforced hub that the A12X25 uh, spec page talks about. And that is kind of the thing that makes this one so much different than that one. And many, a lot of people think that Noctua is like kind of the first to do this. Uh, they at least made it the most popular, I would guess. But I think the original OG uh, is this guy. This is the Nidec Gentle Typhoon. And it's pretty much, it's, it's pretty much the A12X25, same blade count, same kind of geometry. Obviously, 
Noctua uses different materials. They, they have a closer gap on their fan frame, but the metal hub is present on this fan. These things were renowned for being amazingly good fans, just like the, the Noctua. Then obviously Thermal Take came out with their version. You remember this guy? Same idea, uh, same blade geometry, same metal hub. And here's just another fan that I have that's kind of like this one. And this is how most cheaper standard fans are set up. This is a scythe fan. And if you pop this off, you can see that same metal ring in there. And essentially that's the magnet and the metal ring. And it's kind of pressed into the plastic shell of the fan and sticks over kind of the same style motor as this guy. I'm sure the bearings on the Noctua are better. And I'm not saying this fan is bad. I'm sure that this A14 X25 will work forever, just like almost every Noctua always does. But it's kind of a bummer that it's not set up like the A12 X25 with this sweet little metal hub because this thing is this thing is a tank. Now there is ways to mod this fan with the, the setup that it is. I've done it with like the T30. Essentially break off all the blades and rather than removing the fan hub from this metal cage, you essentially sand down all the blades till it's like becomes a hub itself and you can use that. But it's definitely not as easy. And with this A12 X25, you can basically push fans onto this, pull fans off of this forever. I've never had one of these just break. Uh, I have had it where I've made a fan or I've had one of your guys' fans that was just a little too tight and I forced it on there and while I was trying to pull it off, I did pop this metal hub off, but it just snaps right back on there. It never, it, the metal's never gonna break. Like on these plastic hub fans, like this Scythe or like the A14 X25, that pin is set into that plastic and eventually you mess around with it enough and it's gonna crack off where this, you know, it just doesn't happen. So that is a bummer in my opinion that the A14 X25 doesn't have that metal reinforced hub like the A12 X25 or even the old gentle typhoon did back in the day. So that's a bummer. I was going to hopefully uh, modify this fan like we do on the A12 X25 as a little fun video, but as you can see, that's not the case. But at least you know if you saw the A14 X25 come out and you're maybe a big fan of the fan showdown, you're like, I'm gonna get one of those and make a fan disc for it and pop it on there. Although it is possible, like I said, you could cut all the blades off and sand them down. It is definitely not as easy. And after you put a fan on there, eventually taking fans off and on, if you like to switch them out for whatever PC build you're doing or just for fun, that pin eventually is gonna break out of that plastic, especially because this plastic, this uh, special stuff that Noctua uses is, is very stiff, but it doesn't like to bend and it will obviously just break off. So that is that. I do have one that is not broken. So I guess if you want to see me do anything else with it, if you want to see me mod it, like I said, or if I'll just keep it for something in the future, let me know. Sorry, we didn't get much farther than that, but I'll see you next time.